truly a race against time with disease and pollution killing our coral reefs. They needed a game changer and they got it. Scientists set out to make coral in the laboratory act as it would in nature, controlling light to mimic sunrises, temperature, even phases of the moon, essentially fooling the coral to think it was time. Almost every coral in that tank knew that it was two days after the full moon of August and it was time to spawn. And spawn they did. A remarkable and natural release of eggs and sperm for reproduction. A wonder of nature never before induced in the laboratory. Changing the world uh, right here in, you know, in the Tampa Bay region here in Apollo Beach is, is pretty incredible. It's breaking the code. Officials with the Florida Aquarium announcing the breakthrough that happened Saturday here at their Apollo Beach laboratory. They partnered in the research with Horniman Museum in London with global possibilities, even combining coral from different parts of the world. We can actually take pieces of them, bring them into the lab, and interbreed them, which would never be possible in the wild. They may be able to breed coral that's more disease resistant. The Florida and Caribbean reefs have been declining, some species near extinction, so time is a factor. So being able to have this work in an aquarium setting opens up a world of possibilities. While it's great to have this, you know, breakthrough, if we can't grow coral fast enough and at scale, you're only going to be restoring a part of the reef. More farms, more greenhouses, more buildings. For coral to thrive in the lab, a breakthrough in science that could help save the reefs. Think of the implications. You could have coral farms growing acres and acres of coral. You could take that out and restore the coral reef. But remember, you also have to fix what killing the coral in the wild so a very important breakthrough, but lots of work still to do.